Welcome to the Muskegon Channel, it's Andy O'Reilly and we are at Dog and Suds over on Grand Haven Road in Muskegon today. My buddy Dave Hostica is here and Dave is setting off on an adventure, but before we send him packing on his way to Florida, I want to talk a little bit about Dog and Suds and this iconic brand of, it's Americana at this point. Most definitely. And, and you're doing what you can to keep it alive here in Muskegon, you got Montague up there as well. Yeah and it's it's really kind of a national treasure that we still are lucky enough to have here in Muskegon with the whole drive-in experience and everything. Well there aren't that many original drive-in root beer stands left in the area. Um, there are or anywhere, a spattering of yeah well there are a spattering of them throughout the Midwest and and you know other places of the country but they're definitely um, getting few and far between. The yeah. classics or the survivors that I sometimes like to call them um, are, are you know there's great distance between them. We find a lot of people that are coming from all over the state, if not outside of the state, to come to see an original uh, drive-in, whether it's a Dog and Suds or, or not. Uh, Dog and Suds at one time was kind of king of the heap. How many uh, were there? Well, there were 750 operating units from coast to coast at one time. Okay. And uh, we're down to a mere 15 units. That's it. Um, my family's had one since the 60s. Yeah. Um, uh, my mom and dad bought the Dog and Suds in Montague, actually before I was born. And uh, that first summer that uh, that they were there, my father cooked uh, hamburgers and hot dogs while my mom car hopped. Uh, actually, while she was pregnant with me. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Um, and and I, I guess I was kind of um, born into the business, so to speak, whether sure. I wanted to be or not. Um, but I've always enjoyed it. It's always bring a, a nice smile to my face. We love the the families that come in and bring their kids and yeah. they have a good time and get a good hot dog or a good hamburger and a nice ice cold draft root beer. So. It, it's a passion for you, I know that, but you got you, you, you do more than just run this one and help out Montague still. I mean, you, you're really working to get this brand back up on its feet and, tr and try and make it thrive again. Uh, you know, what's that song, you know, uh, something about a hero? Um, Which one? Pick a hero song. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> the greatest know, American hero? I, yeah, yeah, and I don't certainly, <laughs> yeah, I don't, well, uh, sometimes, I can't think of how it goes. Sometimes That's when you need a hero. Um, the anyway, here. anyway yeah, fine. yeah anyway um and I, I certainly don't see myself as being much of a hero but you know i, I do have uh i have been blessed by having some good support from our communities sure, and i have sure. been blessed by having um you know a, a, maybe a little bit better understanding of some of the backside operations of the drive-in some yeah. of the unique features of it some of the unique pieces of equipment that are required to run uh, a, a true drive-in yeah. and uh, if I am able to help out in any way with other people who have recently got into the business thinking it might be a good career um, I, I, I think the best thing that we can do with the knowledge and experience that we have is share it with others yeah and uh, you know we we think that the, the drive-in is, is uh, a fun venue and it's still just as uh, viable as a business opportunity as, as it ever has been. Yeah. And uh, you know, as the, I, I've been blessed by having some great mentors in my life and some great uh, role models. And uh, you know, it's it, what kind of person would I be if, it, if I wasn't you yeah. know able to carry that on and, and do what do for others what has been given to me. No feeling. Yeah, for I sure. Really mm -hmm. So you're off. Take. I mean, the store is going to stay open next week. Uh, actually, the restaurant's going to be closed. Oh, yeah. he's closing down on us for his big adventure, gonna, but yeah, it's worth it because it's going to be a cool thing. Talk, you're oh, heading yeah. to Miami. Uh, yep. Uh, next week, we're going to be open this weekend and then at regular hours. And then first of next week, I'm going to load up and we're going to head to Miami okay. to the Magic City Casino and uh, where a friend of mine has a, a hamburger museum, which we've contributed some, uh, some old dog and says memorabilia to his collection. And uh, he's putting on, he's, he's part of the, the event coordination team for the casino, and uh, they're putting on uh, an annual thing. I believe this is their seventh year. Okay. And they call it the Wiener Bash. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, 20 some vendors are getting together and, and putting forth their best, you know, uh, Viennas or sausages or, or in our case, our Coney dogs. Sure. Um, and we're going we're gonna to sample them out and let the whole uh, casino. Uh, enjoy uh, a nice hot dog uh, yeah. from a variety of different vendors while they listen to some great classic uh, classic rock music. Got, yeah, they got Vince Neil coming up yeah. down there. They yeah. got Jack Russell. I mean, he's, you know, friends of mine over the sure. years. And yeah. I, I mean, I saw the headline and you shared it and then yeah. sent me over the note. And I mean, A, it looks like a fun event, but B, it's also another chance for you to kind of extend this brand out a little bit further and remind people what Dog and Suds was. Well, at one time there were a few locations in the Florida area, yeah, and there are people, we get messages from time to time from people that are 
uh, reminiscent about the uh, the Dog and Says brand and you know like the A and W's and the other drive-ins yeah. uh, that were locale to um, you know people in their high school days or in their early adulthood. Sure. Uh, uh, for me, it's uh, people my age and older. It's kind of a walk down memory lane to to kind of go back and, and relive some of those uh, days of our high school. Uh, yeah. Um, and, and for and for them when they bring their kids, it's it's a whole new cultural experience. There's yeah. nothing like this at all in the uh, in the uh, uh, quick serve dining industry. No, um, it's it's really a, a unique venue, and it's really kind of a uh, we have very unique products, um, menu items that you don't see at typical fast food places. Right. Uh, we still grill the hamburgers made to order, still scoop and mix the shakes by hand. Yeah. And uh, like I said, we don't want to change the way we do things because. We are. Uh, it, it it makes us unique, uh, yeah. and that's what well, we want to carry on some of those traditions. My favorite was Cadillac. I remember because oh, yeah. my parents would take us up there as we were kids, and we stayed at this little place called Pilgrim Village. Yep. And right around the corner was the Dog and Suds, and you know, one night was Dog and Suds. Right by the state park. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then one night was Little Caesars. Back when Little Caesars was good. Uh, not you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> They've kind of changed their product <laughs> and <laughs> Um and and uh, one night was always the fancy restaurant that they oh, got sure. us TV dinners for, and we had to stay at the cottage that night. But sure, the dog and suds night was always the was always the big night for us. It, it was, was a big, big thing for a lot of people. It was a, it was an event. It was a night out. It, it was an affordable luxury. Yeah. At uh, during a period of time when a lot of Americans didn't have much. Yep. And uh, you know we still feel that way today. Uh, we're an affordable luxury. Um, uh, hand grilled burgers, um, broiled on the grill, um, never frozen, um, scoop shakes, draft root beer. Um, it's a it's a it, it's a heartwarming experience. Yeah, this kind you know this thing in Florida now. Mm -hmm. You can be gone next week. Okay, um, is there is there a prize involved with this thing? Is there is it just honors? Well, is, not, how does it work? Not that I know of. Yeah? I, I think that it's you, just, you wouldn't complain if you came well, up with a nice big check. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, Maybe a maybe a bronze hot dog trophy or something. something I don't know. Right? <laughs> I, I don't I don't know if there's anything involved in that or not. Yeah. Uh, any kind of a, uh, an award or not. Um, I think it's just a, a one of those. Um, you know, who doesn't love a good hot dog? Yeah. And, and it gets it brings people together, and, yeah. and we can um, enjoy a little bit of sunshine. You know, for me, it's I'm Use kind it. of using a yeah. taking a, maybe being a little bit on the selfish side for just a minute to take a few <laughs> uh, you know a few Dude, days. You work in the sixty sun. hours a week, though, man. You, you're due. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> you put a lot of time it's, in here. It's it's well worth it. You yeah. know, I come in every morning with the same enthusiasm as as I did, you know, when I was just a kid first starting out, and Love it. Uh, it is a fun time. I might not have the energy I used to, but I certainly yeah. try my hardest. And, and none of us do. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a good time. Well, and, follow uh, up with us and let us know how it goes down there. We wish you the best. I think it's uh, I'll be pretty cool to have our little hometown dog and suds all the way down there in Miami slugging from, it out with. Yeah, all these different hamburger from Muskegon to Miami on a mission. Yeah, how about spread that? spread the goodwill and uh, share a few dogs and uh, meet some people. And You're open all winter too. Well, we are. We're we're open through the holiday season. Okay, but we have backed off of opening being open all year round. Okay, we will close for January and February and okay. reopen first first of March, middle of March, depending on the weather. Perfect. As soon as the weather breaks, we'll be back open. Awesome. Dog and Suds is over on Grand Haven and Road, Muskegon. Make sure you stop out and see Dave and his crew before the uh, snow flies January, February. You don't want to be a miss out on it. But I uh, wish you the best on your competition. Sounds like a fun week in Florida. Follow along right here on the Muskegon channel. We'll keep you updated. And Dave, we wish you the best down there in Florida. Man. Well, I appreciate it very much, Andy. Yeah. I love the work you do. Yeah, we're doing what we can, dude. All the details are right here on the Muskegon channel. Thanks, Dave.